Tonight, two of the suspected ISIS terrorists accused of playing a role in the kidnapping and sadistic execution of American journalist James Foley, now on U.S. soil to face charges. Members of the so-called Beatles ISIS cell, named because of their British accents, Alexander Cote and El Shafi El Sheikh, made their way to Syria from London. Today, they're charged in a conspiracy to kidnap, torture, and murder four Americans. Today is a good day, but it is also a solemn one. The other Americans killed. Stephen Sotloff was a journalist who covered the Middle East. Peter Kassig was in Syria working for a humanitarian organization. Kayla Mueller was a humanitarian aid worker and human rights activist. Authorities say these men were beyond cruel, not only allegedly admitting to beating Foley, but also terrorizing the captives by staging mock executions in which the hostages thought they might die. Today, the FBI director speaking to families. And while their pain may never fully subside, today, with the announcement of this indictment, we're beginning to bring them the justice they deserve. The two suspects appeared in court virtually. In order to extradite them here from Iraq, the U.S. had to agree not to seek the death penalty. If convicted, they face life in prison, David.